used to believe that people determined their own lives. Yet there is one force more powerful than free will. Our desires. And your gypsy. Your gypsy. It was becoming very clear that TV was changing in quite a major way. Um, and certainly for female-driven shows that um, I, I thought this was a great forum for it. And Sam Taylor Johnson brought Gypsy to my attention. Um, she was attached already. And she, the fact that she was attached made me read it right away. And I just got swept up in this character, um, that the fact that she's straddling both worlds of both good and bad. And it's not often that you find a character, a female one like that. Um, I think those are very much male told stories. And uh, um, I liked that, yeah, we don't have to be black and white. We don't have to be perfect, loving mothers and wives and in very feminine ways and or nasty, villain-esque, ugly, crazy characters either. We, there's there's a way to make a character interesting and have a foot in both worlds. You're not getting emotionally involved again, are you? All humans are capable of having dark thoughts and and weird fantasies, and um, but it's just what you do with them. And I, I liked Jean because she She's definitely not a victim. She's in charge of all of her actions. And, um, and yeah, she's kind of making a mess of her life. Um, but we get to go on that journey that we can fantasize about too and um, feel safe in the comfort of our own home. And your gypsy, your gypsy. I think people are really moving towards it because I think the film industry, um, it's just, there's not, not as much money as there used to be. And uh, people, you know, the films that are being made are very much, you know, franchise or superhero or um, there's not as many dramas and particularly female driven dramas. Um, and so the writers who are looking to be employed have moved to TV. And so we go where the writers are and, you know, where the stories are.